allow us, us to, to deliver, deliver this news. news. A concept so astounding its inception miraculous. The uncreated creator who created all that we see from all that was within him. See, this is a story about an artist. Finishing his paintings before he brushes them into existence is his flaw. See, I won't try to brush away his magnificence because no Photoshop can match his quality. Brush by brush, stroke by stroke, his paintings come to life, making HD look unrealistic. See, I'm not talking about Picasso, the Mona Lisa, or any great artistry or artist. I'm talking about the God who at the command of his voice painted the rainbow in the sky, separating red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and yet holding them together, forming the rainbow that we see. With words, he painted the sky blue, the grass green, the night black. He drew the clouds into the stratosphere. He decorated the darkness with stars, the moon, and constellations using just words. Words of God, spoken script, speaking scripture, holy writ, the writing builder, building mountains out of mounds, plants and herbs, out of active verbs, planting nations, using punctuations, placing solar positions, using just prepositions. But for his masterpiece, like any great artist would do, he put his hands, and not just his words, to work, forming man from the dust, outlining his hands, and eyes, and legs, and feet, all with just words, God's masterpiece, a showcase of his artistry. See, it was like a goosebump novel with its words, bringing to life monsters, but you see, God breathed in a man, making him a master, not a monster, of all his creation. God. Masterpiece. How the words of God formed a man that walked the land. See, these words that were spoken by God came together like pieces of a puzzle and fit in bone with marrow. They stuck skin to flesh. These words built up together like Legos and formed the man called Jesus. And when God looks at us, he sees our final portraits. Those seemingly unfinished, yet finished in his sight. He helps us paint those destinies day by day. Brush by brush, stroke by stroke into fruition. See, God knew you were coming and made sufficient provision for you to bloom into all he predestined you to be. He gives us the paintbrush. So with every step that we take, we paint another piece of the portrait of our destinies. And whether that portrait conforms to God's final portrait is up to us. Whether we deviate from his perfect way, painting another big story, forming a collage with the devil who crops us out of our picture, making it his selfie. <laughs> Selfishly, hijacking our destinies and posting them on Instagram for all to see. See, when you give the devil a way in, being the smooth criminal that he is, he moonwalks into your life, brings havoc into your house, locks you outside, and makes the hijack evident for all to see, but see the painter of the sky. The painter of the sky erases the devil's influence. Turning it into an absolute zero, painting white for every black spot. Restoring you to a consciousness of the light that you are and carry. For, for you are the light, the light of the world. world. So whenever you're faced with any temptation, just turn on the light switch because darkness flees before light. See, you have put on Christ and are hidden in Christ, in God. Therefore, parade from that position of rest, for he has called you to his rest. So be rest assured that that light will not go out as long as you keep fanning it with the word. For, for his, his word, word giveth, giveth light. light. It giveth understanding to the sinner. See, God sets the end from the beginning. He puts the paintbrush in your hands. It's wise to stay tuned to him, for then your painting will become all that God predestined it to be. And an error-free life is yours for the taking. God's, God's masterpiece, masterpiece a showcase of his artistry. Thank you. Thank you.